This video was created for the Small Business Resiliency Networks Empower ED series to assist SBRN partners in identifying or, or understanding four common reasons why an entity validation may be delayed or rejected. Um, the PDFs of these slides are available on the uh, SBRN box share drive. The first reason um, that can exist is one or more documents provided contained incorrect information. Could be as simple as the document they upload says Test Inc. versus what their name they provided in their legal business name on their application was Test Company. Um, so just make sure that the documents they are providing have the correct legal business name and physical address. And if possible, also their start year and the state of incorporation. Uh, another area where this becomes an issue is if uh, business owners sometimes want to provide as much documentation as they can. In this case, completely unnecessary, and we would recommend not putting more than, if you can find one document that can suffice and cover all the data and it needs to be validated, that would be most ideal. More information may result in contradictory um, addresses listed or listing of the name, uh, which will then automatically uh, cause be cause for rejection. The second challenge or reason for rejection is when a, a PO box is provided or a physical address for a mailbox, et cetera, type location, or perhaps a co-working space. These uh, addresses, a uh, PO box is flagged, but these other mailbox, et cetera, and, and co-working spaces have oftentimes been flagged in the database, so their uh, request will be rejected. Um, what they want to do is try and find something that validates their business name, like their um, Department of Revenue profile or Secretary of State profile, and then a separate document, like a utility bill, something that will list their actual physical address on it. And oftentimes your water bill or your electric bill will have a physical address listed. Um, in some cases, a letter from a local postmaster may work, noting what their physical address is. Most postmasters know the physical addresses for, for businesses, even though you receive your mail at a PO box, um, but that would need to be on letterhead. Uh, if they are at a co-working space, uh, they can provide, it would need to be a one-year lease that they signed, um, could also validate and, and serve as their physical address, but it would need to be at least a one-year lease with that location. A second reason, why, a third reason, excuse me, why a uh, request may be rejected is, it, is if the um, utility bill that they submitted or bank statement is older than, than five years. Um, you want to have uh, something within the five-year mark, uh, more, most current bill if possible, um, submitted, and you can black out all of the detail on the bank statement or the utility bill if they're using that information. Um, if you have a foundational document and you're downloading something from the Secretary of State, for instance, your articles of incorporation, and you've been in business longer than five years, you could provide that as validation. But you do want to make sure that the um, that it does have the stamp of of when uh, for the of the date that it was submitted, and that none of the information has changed. Sometimes you may have moved or the name is listed a little differently. Just confirm that whatever you're uploading matches exactly with what you're requesting. You have input on your legal business name and physical address. The fourth reason I think why a number of um, requests may get rejected is if you upload a document um, and in the provide details, you state see attached or um, attached are my documents. And you don't explicitly, what really helps is, is if, again, you can explicitly write out, I've uploaded a screenshot from the Department of Rev, Washington State Department of Revenue for my entity. Put your entity name down, write out your address, note what year of incorporation is in what state, and ask them to update their database to reflect this information. And it, and it never hurts to also say thank you because it may be a bot, but it oftentimes is an individual who's actually reviewing the data and updating your information. That's just kind of four common, common reasons why things are rejected. Um, again, we encourage you to, before you work with a client, pull up their um, 
Washington State Department of Revenue profile or their tribal business license or their secretary of state listing, have it in front of you as you're completing the information to get the most, uh, to make sure that that matches. Hopefully they'll come up with a match in the system. If they don't and you need to provide and create an incident, provide validation, you have a document readily available um, to submit. Here's our contact information. If you have any questions, please feel free to outreach and we wish you luck in your um, assisting uh, of businesses. Thank you.